안녕하세요 여러분 앞으로 엠선 불러주세요 If any of you guys are just starting out to learn Korean and you're not sure what I just said I basically asked you guys to call me M Sem M comes from the first letter of my name Margarita M but then Sem in Korean means teacher but it's kind of like an abbreviation slangy kind of term where the actual word for teacher in Korean is 선생님 선생님 but a lot of the times people just kind of like to mash words together for convenience sake and just to be able to speak faster I guess and in Korea a lot of the times teachers are called sim so after sharing my Korean learning journey with you guys for over two years I feel like maybe it's time for me to come up with some kind of catchy name for myself and I could not come up with anything more creative than M sim so let me know what you guys think 좋아요 안 좋아요 M sim 불러주실 거예요 대답해주세요. Alright, so with that out of the way, let's get into what we're going to be talking about today and that is position words and position particles in Korean. So what are position words? In English, we have words like this, that, that over there, words like that. And in Korean, these words are E, K, T. So the reason why we have different position words is because that allows us to identify the distance between us and the object that we're talking about. But Korean actually takes it one step further than English. In Korean, you can actually determine not only the distance between you and the object that you're talking about, but also the listener and the object that you're talking about. Let's look at the first position word, which is this or this thing. And in Korean, that would be e got e got e got. E means this and got means thing in Korean. So when I'm holding a pair of glasses like this, I can say e got un, e got un, subject marking particle, 안경이에요. This thing is glasses. And the word e got helps us understand that the object that I'm talking about is close to me as a speaker. So let's say whoever I'm talking to may be standing two meters away from me and I'm holding this because it's close to me, I'm gonna be saying this. Right? Same in Korean, I'm gonna be referring to this as something that is really close to me. So, this thing, ego. The reason why I'm specifying distance between me and the object is because the next position word, kugot, actually talks about the distance not just between me and the object, but the listener and the object. So, when I'm talking about kugot, I am referring to something that is far away from me as a speaker, but is close to the listener. So if I'm not holding these glasses, but let's say an imaginary person that is standing two meters away from me is holding these glasses, I would say 그것은, 그것은, once again subject marking particle, 안경이에요. Or let's say if they're standing far away from me and they're holding up something and my vision is not so good, I can actually ask 그것은 안경이에요? Is that thing glasses? Is that thing that you're holding glasses? So, got something that is close to me, and in English it would translate to as this, and got is something that is far away from me as a speaker but is close to the listener, and it's kind of that thing. Next up, we have Togot, which roughly translates to English as that thing over there. And when you say Togot, that means the thing you're talking about is far from both you and the listener. So let's say I'm standing next to someone, let's say there's my imaginary friend here, and we're both looking at a building right outside my window, we would say Togot koyo. That thing is big. So the kind of sentences you can make with egot or kugot are quite simple because you're talking first about a thing and then you're kind of specifying what that thing is. So you're saying this thing is whatever. And even though these are simple sentences, we still use them in daily life, that's perfectly fine, but I feel like it is also possible to use these position words to create more complex sentences and to be able to specifically describe more things. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take got and substitute it for whatever noun we want to be talking about. This gives us a lot more options of describing things more specifically. So instead of saying, 이거 안경이에요? I can actually say, 이 안경? 이 안경은 파란색이에요. These glasses are blue. So I'm eliminating this kind of unnecessary word thing and I'm substituting it with something that I'm actually talking about, which in this case is glasses. And when you substitute got for any other noun, the same rules of distance apply. So let's say there are two people standing two meters away from me and I'm talking to one of them and I'm saying 그 사람, 그 사람은, that is standing next to them, 한국 사람이에요. That person is 
Korean. So because I'm saying 그 사람, they would automatically know that I'm talking about someone that is standing next to them, not standing next to me. In this aspect, I feel like Korean position words are a lot more specific than English ones where we just have this and that and that's about it. And just to give you an example of using 저 with a noun, once again, speaking of the building that is right outside my window, I can literally say instead of 저것, I can say 저 건물은 저 건물 커요 or 넓어요 big, spacious, whatever other adjectives you can apply to a building, you know? And that is pretty much it. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section. I'll try to answer them. If there's anything that I've mispronounced or misspelled, which I always do, please correct me in the comment section once again. I really, really appreciate that. Also, please let me know what other Korean language topics you would like me to cover, whether that's grammar, vocab, sentence formation, I don't even know. And with that said, I hope you're all are having a wonderful day. I hope you're all staying happy and healthy, and I will see you all later this week. Bye. Annyeong.